might we interpret this result? Well, what if you only had eight digits of accuracy in your right-hand side? What that translates to is this ratio being around 10 to the minus 8. Now, if your condition number is 10 to the 6th, then 10 to the 6th times 10 to the minus 8th is 10 to the minus 2nd. So, the relative error here is 10 to the minus 2nd, and you only have roughly two digits of accuracy in your result. Right. So, what's another way of looking at this? You start with eight digits of accuracy in your right-hand side. You look at the condition number. You take the log base 10 of the condition number, and that tells you how many digits of accuracy you potentially will lose, you know, if you're unlucky, going from the right-hand side to the solution factor. So, if you only started with six digits of accuracy, let's say that you didn't measure very well, and you only had six digits of accuracy in the data that represents the right-hand side of the matrix, and your linear system has a condition number of 10 to the sixth, then you potentially may lose six digits of accuracy, in which case the solution vector that you get is complete garbage. So, we learn from this that it's important to understand how much accuracy you have in your data, what the condition number is of the matrix that comes up, and then to understand how that may translate into accuracy in your solution vector.